Hey guys, the film I'm going to talk about today is Hook, the 1991 Steven Spielberg film about Peter Pan, Captain Hook, that whole shtick, okay? Uh, starring Robin Williams, Dustin Hoffman, uh, Julia Roberts is in it, a bunch of kids, and uh, Bob Hoskins is in it as well. Uh, this is a movie that was very dear to my heart when I was a kid, okay? I Because I love I love anything to do with pirates. I love, you know, fantasy stories. So I was I was way in, you know, watching this movie. It was probably my favorite Spielberg film when I was a little kid. Like, definitely. Over E.T. for sure. Yeah. Uh, E.T. was kind of disturbing to me, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, my favorite, like, yeah, my favorite Spielberg film as a little kid was this one with uh, Jurassic Park, you know, close second. When I rewatched this movie as an adult, uh, I feel feel like I noticed kind of issues with it more and I was just kind of like mm, I don't know about this movie like this movie just felt like way too cheesy uh, so it didn't really have the same impact as an adult I was kind of disappointed when I rewatched it that was years ago though uh, finally rewatched it recently and now I'm kind of in between okay where um, I like it more than I did the last time I watched it but I don't like it as much as I did when I was a little kid Unfortunately, what I found is that the first half of this movie is freaking awesome. It's the first half of this movie is perfection. It's it gives you everything you want from a Peter Pan movie, from a, a Hook movie, from Steven Spielberg's Hook. You know, it gives you everything, everything you want. Okay, the build up to Hook is phenomenal, like really, really well done. Everything from um, the moment where you kind of see that little hook on the window of uh, Maggie Smith's house, right? Wendy, of Wendy's house. You see that little hook, you know, it's just kind of very subtle, uh, very cute. And then you've got uh, this scene where Robin Williams is coming back from, you know, the speech that he was making and stuff about uh, the orphanage, etc. And uh, the little kids are gone. They've been kidnapped. And he, uh, he there's like a freaking... There's like a gash open on the wall by the hook, right? Clearly Captain Hook came and like, and then there's like this letter, this like scroll that he left behind and stuff. There's like wind howling. There's the those classic Spielberg, uh, you know, lights just shining through the windows. It's, it's very uh, atmospheric. It's very atmospheric. It's very dramatic. Um, and then you get to uh, Peter Pan's world. And uh, it's awesome. You know, first they land you into this pirate world uh, with, uh, you know, Bob Hoskins plays uh, Smee, who is like the assistant of uh, Captain Hook. He's hilarious. Bob Hoskins as Smee is freaking hilarious. Dustin Hoffman as Captain Hook. I mean, this is still a performance that is, it's a lot goofier than I remember. I'll say that. It's a lot more panto than I remember because as a kid, I felt like, Hook seemed like a quite threatening, even though he was like um, funny. He was also like there. There was something dark about him. There's something really threatening about him, like really gross about him. Uh, watching it now, he's pretty. I mean, yeah, they try to sell that, but it's Dustin Hoffman. I mean, how much harm can he cause as Hook? I mean, he just seems a little bit uh, more lighthearted than I remember. Still. Really fun performance by Dustin Hoffman, who is chewing the scenery, having a great time. Bob Hoskins is me, though. He's kind of low-key the better character. Uh, because he's he's kind of like... He's kind of like hanging back through all the fighting and stuff. He's just like eating Captain Hook's food, drinking his drinks. You know, he's just like hanging out. He's, he's He makes a little speech every now and again to kind of boost Hook's ego... But really, he's kind of in it for himself, you know. He's just like, I'm living a good life here, okay, just by doing whatever this hook wants, okay. But he's he probably doesn't respect him at all. But anyway, the world of the pirates is really fun. One thing uh, that I didn't remember very well is that the child actors are actually really good in this movie. They are really, really good. Like the the little boy really conveys the right emotions, like, convincingly, I thought. You know, he is really mad that his dad didn't come to his baseball game at the beginning of the film. Um, and he is frustrated uh, with his father. He's kind of, like, starting to grow up because of that. And it's kind of, you know, 
it's kind of scary. Um, and you've got, he's also like very funny, like, and playful and rebellious. He is kind of Peter Pan in this movie. He's the Peter Pan, he's the real Peter Pan of this movie, even though Robin Williams is technically Peter Pan. Um, the, what this movie is trying to get at, you know, I, I got to explore the themes a little bit more uh, on this viewing because I was kind of distracted when I watched it as an adult the last time because I was like, oh, this is completely different than I remember. Like, this is not as much fun as I remember, you know. I've grow I grew out of it at that point. I didn't want to hear, I, did, I didn't want to watch a cheesy movie, okay, so I was mad. Uh, but like this time I got to, you know, see what Spielberg was really trying to say. Uh, going to those themes of growing up, you know, becoming a pirate yourself, you know, the idea of Peter Pan becoming a pirate, this constant fight going on, which is the fight between Peter Pan and Hook uh, within all of us, okay, and our families, you know, it's kind of like uh, we're all Peter Pans, you know, by default, but then we kind of we're in severe danger of growing up and turning into hooks, you know, when really you kind of want to try and keep some of that childhood intact, a little bit of balance, right? That is the best case scenario because, you, yeah, you will you will become, you will grow old, right? But you don't have to be a hook. You can be like Wendy, okay, who's still young and heart, or Peter Pan eventually, um, uh, freaking Robin Williams, who grew up and, and kind of they're hinting that he's become a pirate. Um, and then they flat out just say, Wendy just like gives him the real shit. And it's just like, you were a pirate, Peter. Like in case of the people at the back, they didn't really quite get what the film was trying to hint at. Um, very obviously, you've got kind of fear of aging in there as well, of course. Uh, the fear of, you know, that, you know, Robin Williams is just going to become this doddering old guy who's lost his marbles, right? It's also the fear of, like, going too deep in fantasy, right? There's a lot that Robin Williams' character is dealing with internally and his kid as well. Uh, the little girl is very good as well. She has... I forgot that she has, like, a singing moment, and it's really cute. Like, it's really good, actually. <laughs> um, Spielberg, like, really... is really good with child actors in general, right? And he... Um, yeah, he, he directs the kids really well in this movie. Uh, he just... The Lost Boys uh, are hit and miss for me. Um, I like Rufio. I like the kind of idea that uh, Peter Pan's gone. You've got this kind of new Peter Pan guy who's just not quite as good. But he's Rufio. He's kind of awesome, right? And um, yeah, things have kind of moved on. I wasn't like a big fan initially of you know, making a sequel to a movie you've never seen, you know, because you kind of want to see Steven Spielberg's Peter Pan. That's really what you want to see. But no, you're getting Hook. You're getting a, a, a sequel to something, you know. Uh, they assume you know the story. You've seen, I guess, a bunch of adaptations of it. Uh, let's get into what happens like 30 years later. Okay, I'm not too sure about this concept, but the film is actually trying to say something through that, and it's doing mostly a very good job at it. It's just that when you get to the Lost Boys part of the movie, it gets very cheesy. Uh, I would have cut some of that. Like, I get what they were trying to do, and you know what? It really appealed to me. Like, the Lost Boys part really appealed to me as a little, little kid, and really that's what Spielberg was, you know, that's the core audience there that he's going for. Um, like, all the grown-up stuff, I didn't really get when I was a little kid. And that is the cool thing about this movie, is that it appeals to... Um, parts of it will really appeal to little kids. Parts of it will really appeal to grown-ups. But you'll never, like, entirely get it from one point of view or the other unless you do have this balance going on. Um, and uh, you know what? The balance kind of tips over here and there, you know, for me. But I, I feel like... Now, I, I do have a good appreciation of both sides of it. As an adult, as a grown-up, uh, the Lost Boys part of it, it comes off as really cheesy. I think, in general, like, the third act of the movie is pretty cheesy. And that's a shame. And what do I mean by cheesy? I mean, uh, some of the lines are a little bit, like, you're going to roll your eyes a little bit. Uh, or a little bit obvious. It's like characters, like, uh, being all cutesy and laughing and just, like... The, the music is all happy and dim, 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 dim. it's too much. I, I think he went too far with the sentimentality, the, the kind of cute, cutesiness of it all in the third act, okay? But he had a really good balance before that. 
Um, but at the same time, like I said, as a little kid, I let this shit up. Okay, I thought it was amazing. Uh, I still think this movie is amazing, though. Like, really, like, I, I've i developed... My feelings are kind of like... They've gone kind of backwards on it in that uh, I kind of dismissed this movie as some cheesy film, like, at some point. But now I'm kind of back to thinking, you know what? This movie is low-key kind of awesome, you know? Uh, Steven Spielberg, amazing job with the visuals. The sets are incredible in this film. Yeah, okay. I mean, a lot of the time you they do feel like sets, um, but they're awesome. Like, they're really, really well done. The, the writing is solid as well, like, especially in, like, the first half of the movie. Really, it's like the first half of the movie is the best freaking Peter Pan thing you've ever seen, okay? Um, second half, not so much. Uh, Julia Roberts as Tinkerbell, people were like, oh, she's too old or whatever. She's great. Like, she totally sells it. Like, Julia Roberts as uh, Tinkerbell, great casting choice in my opinion. I, I thought she did, she did an amazing job. It's a different interpretation of the character, of course, but uh, I liked it. I thought she did great. Um, I thought she did great. Uh, the rest of the cast, you know, really darn good. Even the kids, right? Even the kids who play the Lost Boys who are not, you know, who are not really, like, my cup of tea in terms of humor. Um... You know, the child actors there are pretty good. I think there's like maybe one, there's like maybe one or two that you're actually like, okay, let's do another take of that. But, you know, I think they were banking on the cutesiness uh, carrying some of these performances through. But, uh, it's, you know, as a little kid, you kind of buy it. Not so much now. The, the whole scene with the food, right? The whole scene with the food, uh, I loved it as a little kid. Now I'm kind of like, can we, can we cut to hook? Can we? <laughs> Can we go back Go back to Hook? Go back to whatever we were doing before. Because that scene is long. It feels like it It takes like 10 minutes out of the movie, this freaking food scene. I get what it's there. This is like a big moment, you know, for Robin Williams' character, for Peter Pan, where he remembers how to actually play with his friends. And you know what? Robin Williams, at the beginning of the movie, you're kind of like, why is Robin Williams Peter Pan? You're like, that's ridiculous. And, you know, you kind of buy it by the end, honestly. Like, Spielberg pulls a magic trick where he presents you with this kind of slightly overweight, um, you know, older kind of Robin Williams. Boring and really, like, kind of shitty, like a shitty dad, right? And you've got a lot of Steven Spielberg's own childhood in there, right? Definitely you can kind of uh, pick out, like, little bits and pieces of, um, you know, like, uh, stuff that worried him as a kid stuff that he uh, loved about being a kid, stuff that wor worried him about his dad and uh, that he didn't like about his dad. You know, I, I think you can definitely kind of find a little bit of therapy in there uh, that uh, Spielberg is doing with the Peter Pan story. But yeah, I mean, this film is definitely worth seeing. Definitely show your kids this movie. There's a couple of parts in it, a little bit scary, okay? A little bit, And there's aspects of it that they're not going to get. They are more like... Uh, for adults to understand but um you know it's stuff they'll think about it's stuff they'll think about and then when they rewatch the movie hopefully uh they'll see the other side of it but it was an important movie to me as a kid and uh you know what it was it was great to revisit it you know it's maybe not the best steven spielberg movie it's a little uneven you know i feel like he's made better films and this film has its flaws but the the stuff that it does well it does really really well it it's it's a good if not great peter pan movie like i really really enjoyed rewatching it great cast the score by john williams is fantastic Except for the cutesy parts towards the end. Again, the cutesy parts end up feeling like kind of a, you're watching a John Hughes movie. You know, you're watching Home Alone 6 or something. But um, the the hook theme, the general theme, uh, John Williams knocks it out of the park. Great visuals. Yeah, it's it's a it's a cool pirate movie. Uh, Dustin Hoffman knocks it out of the park. Um, yeah, I loved it. You know, I loved it. It's a great, great movie. Like I said, it's got issues, but um, it holds up. I think this movie holds up, and I was I was surprised, pleasantly surprised to see that this movie holds up. It just tumbles down into cheesiness in the second half, and some people it's gonna turn off a lot of people, I'm sure. But you know, if you can if you can kind of think back to when you were a kid watching this movie, if you did, um, I think you'll enjoy it. You know, for what it is. Whereas uh, if you didn't really experience this movie as a little kid, it's gonna be tough. You know, it's going to be a tough watch. If you really only ever experienced Hook 
as a grown-up, um, it will be harder to get into, and you'll probably be like, no, this movie sucks, dude. Uh, which, fine, that's your opinion. My opinion is it does not suck. It's a great movie. But yeah, thank you for watching this review. Uh, I Hopefully, I can do like a more detailed review of this movie at some point. Uh, but for now, th those are my thoughts. I hope you watch this movie. Hope you enjoy it. And if you don't, that's fine. I kind of get it, you know. Uh, all right. See you guys in the next review.